Hey you guys, today I'm going to show you how I prep my fruiting blocks and how you can do it in the most efficient way for your business. So stay tuned. It's Dylan from Fungi Mush Urban Farm. Welcome you guys to the first farm update. Today we're going to be doing substrate prep and I figured that I would just give a general update on the status of everything going on around the farm. We're over here at the bagger and we're about to take care of some substrate blocks. Let me put some more soy in. I already have some wood left over in there and of course, I buy everything in bulk. On each side, we have our wood and our soy. I don't have any knife valves or anything in this. I built it really cheap for just $120 and it gets the job done. Basically, I do all my bags and I go put them on the table and I'll go around after all the dry materials are done. I just put seven pounds of water in each. We are using these big bags. I believe they're XLS A bags. Uh, you know, it has a 0.5 micron filter, just like any substrate bag you would usually see. I use 0.2 for my spawn and a bit bigger for my, you know, substrate. Um, I do 13 pound blocks and this dispenses about five pounds of dry material of you know, wood and soy, of course. So I do a master's mix and eventually I'm going to upgrade it to obviously include water. And then my time is gonna be cut down even more. Now, obviously it's not perfect. I'm gonna lose some materials to the side, but at the end, usually I just sweep it up and I put it in this bin down here and I just add it to my soy. I would much rather dilute my, um, my supplementation because I do a 50-50 supplementation and I kind of just dilute it down. You know, I'll throw some wood pellets in there, just anything that falls on the floor, just because you're not gonna notice the difference in the fruiting room. You're really not. And please don't spend all of your time trying to make something absolutely perfect. I prepped about 10 blocks and we're gonna add some water. I'm still working with the 55 gallon barrel. I'm kind of in desperate need of upgrading it to a 300 gallon stock tank. I'm gonna be converting the barrel into a steamer and I'm gonna be putting my blocks in there from now on out. But for now, I'm just working with my barrel. I recently upgraded to 13 pound blocks. I just wanna see how much I can really fit in here. I was going from five pound blocks. So I'm still experimenting with how many I can fit in there. So I'm just gonna prep 10 at a time, see how many I can fit in there. I'm thinking I can probably fit somewhere in the range of 20. I would also say that this is probably the most time intensive part of making my blocks just because I don't have the wet part of my bagger. Now it only took me just a few minutes to make these bags, but I have to walk back and forth with a bucket of water, and refill it a few times, just dump water in, walk back, dump water in, walk back. So I'm thinking of hooking up a float valve to a bucket that dispenses seven pounds of water every single time, but I'm a little unsure of how to cut the connection whenever I go to pour it. So I'm just thinking of ways I can get water into these bags without exactly using valves or anything, just because I don't think I'm really ready for building that yet. So I just wanna stick with this for now and make the wet part of the bagging a little more efficient. Sorry you guys, my microphone died, so we're going to be sticking with the internal mic for now. Um, I just got finished pouring water in all of these 10 bags. Now we're going to fold them up and put them in the barrel, load that thing up. Barrel's loaded now, it's uh, right behind me. I was able to fit 19 blocks in them. Usually I can fit around 40 five pound blocks in my it's a 55 gallon barrel. These blocks are about two and a half times the size of five pound blocks. I can, um, I'm technically fitting more volume, but 13 pound blocks are also not as biologically efficient as five pound blocks are. I was pulling about one and a half pounds on average of, you know, oysters, chestnuts, whatever from a five pound block. And for my three pound, for my 13 pound blocks, I pull about, uh, I would say about three pounds. I run this for 24 hours just to stay safe. I would recommend anybody that is just setting one up to put a thermometer in one of the top bags and measure how long it takes for you to get to the core temperature and then figure out your cook time. But I find that 24 hours is generally what works great for me. It's so here we are in the fruiting chamber. Forgive me for the fan, the humidifier is on right now, so hopefully it flicks off in a second. I also don't have my microphone since it died, so it may be a bit louder than it usually is. I've got some second flush oysters behind me. I've got some lion's mane right up here. I don't think you guys can see it, 
but basically this week we're kind of in a transition phase. I just switched over from 5 pound bags to 13 pound bags and before that I was having a, some issues with my grain spawn. I used to do a 24 hour soak with um, just producers products oats from tractor supply but I was doing that for a year and late September I was having some issues with burst grains, slimy grains and just completely over hydrated grains and then I was like wow I have a problem here and then I made the decision to start doing instant prep oats. Now I had more of a learning curve with that because I hadn't done it before and I had one batch fully contaminated, it was a huge problem and you know it's negligence on my part you know as a business owner you're responsible for everything and grain spawn is really the most important factor in running a mushroom business so without that I kind of just experimented for a few weeks so I became three weeks behind on everything um, and then I did a huge batch of soaked oats for 18 hours and that came out perfect for me so just by reducing the soak time by six hours I have now gotten perfectly hydrated grains, I haven't, I haven't had any issues with contamination and I've done a few batches now but uh, you know grain spawn takes a couple weeks to get into a cycle, two weeks to get ready and then you know you just prep it every week. Um, so I've kind of just been getting into the groove of things again recently, especially going from 5 pound bags to 13 pound bags, it's a difference. Um, originally I thought I was going to supplement with 10% spawn to substrate ratio but I've now switched to 5% and that effectively doubled the you know usage that I can use my spawn for which is awesome um, I haven't noticed you know significant decreases in colonization time so I'm really proud of that I would say it's maybe just a few days slower but I account for spawn being ready in not spawn substrate it takes me about two weeks but a lot of my blocks used to be ready in seven to ten days with the 10% ratio so 5% is not hurting me at all. It's doing wonders. I've doubled production just by doing that and I know some people even go even lower with their supplementation so feel free to go crazy with it. Um, so that being said I have maybe 80 blocks in here right now and September 30th the first market that I was doing ended which was the um, it was a small market for just my town. There were maybe 30 vendors there and I was doing about 50 pounds a week over there and now I moved the town over in for the farmers market and it's one of the larger farmer markets in my state uh, thousands of people on the weekend on average and it's been awesome I did my first one yesterday and we're planning on moving probably in the range of hundred pounds there uh, so a great farmers market to get into I uh, was really excited to do that but combined with the grain spawn issues and the scaling uh, we just or I have ran a little bit behind in terms of mushroom production going from 50 pounds a week to 200 is quite the leap um, but it's working out pretty nicely right now uh, that being said I have maybe 40 pounds of mushrooms to pick for next week um, and I'm kinda gonna be gonna be coasting in the week of uh, next week so through October I'm gonna be coasting on second flush blocks and um, I have 30 blue oyster blocks to put in next week uh, so I'll be pulling about 40 pounds next market and then for the market after that I'll probably be doing about 80 pounds and then the first week of November I'm going to be pulling 200 pounds because I've been doing all the substrate prep recently, all the grain prep and that being said I have six grain bags ready right now and how it's looking, uh, you know, that's a lot of mushrooms especially with 13 pound bags so I'd say the main bottleneck in my business right now is just substrate sterilization so I'm gonna be getting on that ASAP uh, you know I have no trouble growing the mushrooms in the fruiting chamber and I have no problem getting the grain ready now so uh, it really comes down to how many blocks I can sterilize a week and right now it's I have to run the barrel a few times a week to get to where I want it to be and that's just not feasible for electricity and just my time you know I wouldn't want to be inoculating substrate blocks you know most of the week it just it's a whole lot of labor and especially when I can get a stock tank and use my barrel as a boiler it just makes more sense so that's what the week is looking like right now uh, production is going up but mainly I'm just focusing on what we're going to be harvesting in November uh, lots of chestnuts 
We're also now growing Piopino, Italian oyster, and golden oyster. So a lot of different oysters. I'm trying to broaden the horizons. So we're going to have seven different strains at the markets. Um, I'm also picking up wholesale orders. Um, so handing out samples right now, all that good stuff. So that's really what the week at Fungi Mush Urban Farm looks like. I'll be back next week to give you guys another update on how things are going. Hopefully I'll have the, it just stopped. Hopefully I'll have the stock tank build out so we have no sterilization issues anymore. And we're gonna solve the water, water issue next week too. Um, but until then, I'll probably have another video come out on liquid cultures. We got everything covered. I know I talk a lot, but just giving you guys an update. I'm trying to be transparent with my numbers and everything. Just so if anybody around here is starting a business, you can look at my journey and how I grow and how I'm doing it, the problems I'm facing, and I really just want to document it, you know? So that's that. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's update video and I'll have a liquid culture video coming out before then too. So I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Just like always, this was Dylan with Fungi Mash Urban Farm.